Hello, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate falling objects with and without air resistance. Now without air resistance, we call that free fall, and the acceleration is constant and downward. And near the surface of the earth, an object starting from rest will increase in speed at a rate of 32 feet per second each second, or 9.8 meters per second each second. That's free fall. That's without air resistance. Here I have a, a tube, and currently it's filled with atmospheric pressure. That is, it's just open to the atmosphere, so we have the same pressure inside as outside. And in this tube, I have two objects. I have a magnet and a feather, and they're now up at the top end. I'm going to bring this over in front of this uh, white background so that uh, you can see it a little easier. And at, uh, in just a few seconds, I'm going to pull the magnet on top away. That's the magnet that holds this system up here. And the magnet inside and the feather then will begin to fall at the same time. And we'll watch what happens when air resistance is present. You'll see the magnet fall much faster than the feather because air resistance has a greater effect on the feather than it does on the magnet. Let's try that experiment with air resistance, two falling objects, uh, with air resistance having a greater effect on the feather than it does on the magnet. So could you see the feather just flutter down as the magnet dropped with an acceleration almost as if it were in free fall? Next what I'd like to do is evacuate the tube and uh, we'll do that same experiment again in a vacuum. Next, I'd like to do that same experiment, only this time I've got this hooked up to a hose here that goes into the back room into a vacuum pump, and so I'm evacuating the tube, pumping out the air. I'll seal this off so no more air can come in, and then we'll pull the uh, vacuum hose off. And now we have the air pumped out of the tube, and we have vacuum conditions now inside the tube. Again, we have the magnet and the feather loaded in here with the uh, magnet on top to release that. And uh, we'll bring it over here again as we did before, only this time without air resistance. So we'll see the feather will now fall at a... Uh, at a different rate than it did before. In fact, the feather should more nearly fall at the same rate as the magnet inside the tube. Now that it's evacuated, let's release them to fall. Starting at the same time, they should fall together all the way down to the bottom, falling at a rate of 32 feet per second per second, both feather and magnet. And we see that indeed that's the case. Free fall without air resistance.